Hello, my name is Vesna Balac and I am Assistant Professor and Program Director for the Radiologic Sciences programs here at Indiana University Northwest. I am honored to present to you today a description of a creative group activity I have designed to help students master complex concepts in one of the courses I teach. The title of my presentation is Teaching X-ray Interactions from Ruckus to Absorbitron. So let's get started. First, I want to share some background information regarding this creative activity. This past summer, I attended the Association of Educators in Imaging and Radiologic Sciences annual conference, where one of my fellow educators, Ann Verschuren, presented about the writing across the curriculum. She provided several examples of how writing can be infused in a variety of radiologic sciences courses, one of which stood out to me. She mentioned a writing assignment that uses anthropomorphism to help students describe x-ray production. At that time, I was revisiting my instructional approach to teaching some of the more complex subjects that students struggle with in R102, Principles of Radiography 1. So I decided to design a learning activity that centers around the idea that Anne presented to teach X-ray production. That first implementation was well received by my students, but I had no way to measure their learning. I then decided to design a second activity using the similar approach to help students learn about the complex interactions between X-ray photons and matter. Both topics, the production of X-rays and X-ray interactions, tend to be challenging for students because some of the components of these interactions are extremely similar, and as a result, students tend to confuse them. Therefore, a second activity seemed necessary and ultimately included a pretest as well as a post-test to measure student learning. In addition, I obtained an IRB approval just in case I decided to further research the effectiveness of this teaching strategy. As mentioned, this presentation focuses on the second activity, which was designed to improve student learning of X-ray interactions with matter. The activity was organized into five components. First, students were asked to watch a pre-recorded lecture focusing on X-ray interactions prior to attending class. Then in class, they completed a pretest covering the concepts discussed in the recording. The same concepts were also incorporated in the learning activity. Students were assigned to a group to work on their response in which they were to describe the two X-ray interactions as if they were happening to them using creative story, acting, or even illustrations. The student instructions for this activity are available on this slide, but in short, the students were asked to be as creative as possible and present their response to their classmates, me, and my colleague who conducts R102 labs with me. Each group received feedback from the audience. Finally, the students completed a post-test. Next, I will share with you some of the outcomes of this learning activity. First, the level of student engagement was much higher than for any other learning activity used in this class. I was prepared to facilitate discussions as I have done in the past whenever I signed group, group activities, so you can imagine my surprise when there was no need for that. The groups remained engaged and were able to produce excellent responses. Both my colleague and I were pleasantly surprised by their creativity. Two of the groups used some interesting analogies and metaphors, including rock climbing and being stuck on an island to describe the two interactions between X-ray and matter, Compton scatter and photoelectric absorption, which are illustrated on this slide. One group used the characters and events from two popular movies, Mean Girls and Freaky Friday, to explain the interactions. Another group used a video in which students wore labels to indicate what they represent, an outer shell or an inner shell electron, an x-ray photon, 
a photoelectron or a recoil electron, and they acted out the interactions in their video. I also came up with a creative story that used metaphors titled From Ruckus to Absorbitron to include the main character's name, an X-ray photon called Ruckus, who creates all kinds of trouble and finally gets absorbed through photoelectric absorption, becoming an absorbitron at the end of the story. This title is also symbolic of what I was trying to accomplish with this activity, which is create some ruckus to improve the absorption of knowledge of X-ray interactions. Second, responses to a midterm check-in survey that I used to gather feedback about the class indicated that students prefer this type of learning activity over traditional lectures. It is important to note that students were not asked about this particular activity, but they mentioned it anyway in response to two prompts. You can see two sample responses to each prompt. First, when asked what is going well for you in this class, one student replied that the activities helped them understand the concepts better, while another student indicated that they liked using the storytelling activities to learn X-ray interactions. When asked to share their suggestions for improvement, one student responded that I should keep utilizing these activities in the future as they found them helpful, while the other student highlighted the value of using group activities. And lastly, to determine the effectiveness of this learning activity, a paired sample t-test was conducted. Students' average scores captured by the pretest were 2.57 with a standard deviation of 1.08, and the mean score on the post-test was 4.71 with a standard deviation of 0.32. The results showed a statistically significant difference between pretest and post-test suggesting that this instructional activity improved overall learning pre-test to post-test with a t-value of 9.24. Effect size estimate, expressed as Hedges G, was large at 2.69. Therefore, we can conclude that students learn better after being asked to describe X-ray interactions through acting and creative writing activities. That brings us to the last part of this presentation. It was clear that I needed to change my approach to teaching some of the more complex subjects in R102. In other words, I needed to create some ruckus, which led to not only improved student engagement and satisfaction, but was also effective in improving student learning, or absorbitron. Finally, based on student feedback, Additional activities have been implemented to help teach other complex topics in R202, which is a continuation of R102. These new activities are slightly different from the original ones, but a similar level of student engagement and satisfaction has been noted for those Ruckus to Absorbitron 2.0 activities, but that is a story for another time. I would like to thank you for the opportunity to share my experience related to this creative activity with you. If you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to reach out.